What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel and check out the content. And uh, with that being said, man, I'm going to go right in on this topic. Um, I recently came across a video that uh, Dick Gregory did. Probably He did this probably like a, a couple years before he passed, right? Um, and the video was about, I think it probably was like about in 2015, 2016, around that time. And he was giving an interview and he was talk, he was speaking about um, entertainers, like entertainers in general. And he gave a reason for why he don't associate, why he don't hang around with entertainers. And so he, he basically said that entertainers are some of the most, he, he called them filthy people. He said they're filthy people and they will do anything for money, uh, for fame and, and, and for success. Right. And so he said, you know, people like that in the entertainment business, you definitely can't, um, you don't want to, uh, you know, you, you can't associate yourself with them. Right. And so that just shows that like what he said was true. Because when you see like what's what's going on with with Puff Daddy and and a lot of people that they're alleging that you know was uh around Puff Daddy, you you just see how people just move when it comes to um, money, fame, success, and, and 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 you know and for notoriety and all that stuff. You see how they're moving, right? And not that this is nothing new, you know. Not that like the way that you know, uh, the way that what's going on with Puff Daddy and, and all of the people surrounding him, not that this is anything new, because like I said, um, Dick Gregory has been saying this for years that, you know, like you can't, you don't want to be in that circle of people, you know, because it's it's not worth it. Um, you know, uh, you, you're seeing like some of the young ladies who um, basically was, you know, like, selling their soul and who knows whatever else just for for money and and for fame and for clout um you see some of the guys who, who was doing the same thing you know just selling their soul for for uh money and and clout and a lot of people want to be around these people they want to um you know they want to associate themselves with with uh with these athletes and entertainers because they think that these people are like the 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 picture of of success, you know. This this is these are the people that like um like if you, if you get to hang around them or if you get to be one of these people that you know like you are a successful person or you are someone who has made it right. But a lot of times, you know, you don't know what these people had to had to go through or what they had to do or you know as far as like compromising their ethics or or even um anything immoral that people have to do in order to to accomplish or get to where they want to get to you know because in the entertainment industry is not just about talent you know if, if it was about talent then that would be different but you you know that there, there's just so many so much other things that play into like whether you make it or not and it's just not about talent like a talented person who's not willing to compromise their their morals and their ethics may not even um you know you may not even get to hear about these people you, you may not even get to to um to experience their their talent or experience their gift because these you know that person may not be willing to compromise you know what i mean or or uh you know do anything against their morals or their integrity so uh, you know it's it's not about talent um not in in the music business um i always say even in basketball i don't think it's always about talent i think it's about you know it's 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 just political um and you know it's about everything else except for talent you know talent in my opinion it's just like a surplus, you know, you just have so much, so many people that are talented and that are um, replaceable 
that these people know that they have to do almost have to do anything to be successful in uh entertainment or sports because everybody is is replaceable you know and so that's why dick gregory said you know like entertainers and athletes are some of the most filthy you know they do some of the most filthy things in order to get where they have to go because um it's not about talent and so anybody who can be strong enough you know to to put their integrity to put their morals first you know they, they really need to be commended and um so but this is just a lesson that we like we need to listen to our elders right um dick gregory had been saying things like this for years but you know people don't believe stuff like this you know until it comes out publicly you know with uh you know the allegations against um puff daddy and uh you know everything that went on with uh with r kelly and you know people don't believe it until you know until they they see it you know on tv or or, or with what well, like what's going on with puff daddy right and so that's my take on it man i just think that people need to take heed from the elders when it comes to stuff like this because um you don't want to have to be you know the person that's uh put in a situation where somebody's trying to make you compromise your uh your morals and, and and your integrity just for some fame man and then later on your fame and your fortune can be taken away from you because um you know whoever make you can also break you because they know you know like they know you, the, where the chinks in the armor where the chinks in your armor are so they'll use that to uh to bring you down so that's my take on it don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about, you know, what Dick Gregory said about athletes and entertainers. And uh, it, do you agree with it? Do you disagree? And uh, do you think that people, young people, should take more heed to what older, what the older generation say and just listen and, and you know, so they can try to avoid these type of um, situations? With that being said, um, Leave a comment and I'll check you all out in my next video. Peace.